Welcome to Manchester Regional Arena, where we have the under 16 school club for boys sponsored by the Premier League. And the two teams are coming out. Windsor Boys School in green, Cardinal Hume. Cardinal Hume are in purple. There's a good support here today. There's a, a lot of people have come through to watch this. And here are the teams, Windsor Boys School, Matteo Giacobbi in his goal, Zico Tauha number two, Luke Hayes is three, Lewis Maggs is four, Toby Loughran five, Scott Spark six, Alex Sakalakas is seven, Adam Folder eight, Jack Hall nine, Bradley Birchmore is ten, and Ryan Sachdev is eleven. That is the That's the Windsor Boys School team. That's for Cardinal Hume. It's Kale Carney in goal. Joshua Smith, Jack Douglas, James Thompson, Thomas Howard is the captain. Ryan Fisher, six. Jason Lorenzo, Lorenzo is seven. Andrew Byrne is eight. Callum Duffy, Joe Arnott, and Jake Howard is 11. I had a uh, really good uh, chat with both coaches beforehand. Unfortunately, we had a slight technical issue. Our referee, David Coote. with Magda Golba and Philip Woodward. The assistant referees, Paul Wilcox, is our fourth official. These are our substitutes, George Cliff, Alfie Murner, Louis Chasty, Callum Pitts for Windsor Boys School, and Adam Wilkinson, Jack McGill, Sam Lynn, and William Ridden are our substitutes for Cardinal Hume. I'm speaking to both coaches before, and I do apologise, guys. You gave me your time. Unfortunately, uh, we had a slight technical issue in recording those interviews, but both coaches saying that they're really looking forward to this. They've played eight rounds so far to get here. They've competed in, as over a thousand teams have entered this competition. And there's a pretty good atmosphere out there. We've got our microphone out on the pitch. And the sound you're hearing is what the players are hearing out there, which just goes to show what sort of atmosphere we've got here today. So, Windsor Boys School in green are going to get us underway. we go. These teams that probably never played in such a big crowd before. It certainly is a great atmosphere here. And our first throw. Uh, both coaches uh, in fact, it was really interesting. Both coaches saying that they like to uh, get their team playing football on the ground. They uh, they like to play proper football, as you may say. pitch does have uh, an athletics track around, around the outside. Ball 
into danger there. Yeah, Kobe in the goal with the kick. Solid challenge from the central midfielders going head to head to two number eights. And Windsor with their first attack on the. That's a great ball through, but offside is given. straight through to the opposite goalkeeper there's a, there's a bit of a wind running from from right to left as uh, you're watching this there's Max challenges uh, Salakasa Salak I'll say that again Sakalakas. Well, he did say he'd be happy with Alex. I may just go with Alex from here on in. So the Brazi it's the way the Brazilians do it, isn't it? Birchmore, the captain, making a surging run down the left-hand side, but he's well covered by Jason Lorenko, the Cardinal Hume. Longer throw in the centre half. Lewis Max had, uh, sorry, the midfielder had pushed up for that one. cleared by Douglas for Hume and a uh, few people in the crowd appealing for pushing the back there flicked on by Byrne and the referee may well give a foul for that yes the foot was up from Zico Talha Howard, the captain for Cardinal Hume, a little one-two with his number 10, Joanna, and uh, well, the ball's just far too close to the goalkeeper there from Howard. Balls, uh, they are playing with the Premier League football here, which is, uh, I think, uh, watching any of the matches last year I did say back then that it's a, it's a very light ball it does bounce very high indeed and uh, we're seeing that already here the referee's gonna have just a little word here there's a couple of little slide tackles that are going in and I think it's more of a, a bit of exuberance here like this is probably the biggest match in their lives here and uh, Well, both players get a little talking to. James Thompson and Bradley Birchmore. And that one somehow got through and oh the keeper does brilliantly there. That's a great save. Well, that was an opportunity. Max with the winning header there. It's flicked back in. And Talha did very well to keep that in play. And there was a pretty much free header there from the edge of the six-yard box that uh, that man, Adam Forder, might be uh, a little bit disappointed he didn't do better with. Challenge of midfield referee says play on. We're just 
going to stop it for a second here. Oh, yeah, just want us to go back a little bit. Fair enough. Chase. Kick somehow, miss kick, managed to get all the way into the corner of Hume half there. That ball looks like it's just got too much on it. The Pitcher's in very good condition. Both um, both teams' uh, coaches were saying that they were really the uh, pitch was looking good. We just had a bit of a downpour earlier on, and uh, it's now drying out nicely. And uh, good conditions to play football on. Here's Jack Hall, number nine for Windsor, playing ball over the top, is an opportunity. The keeper makes a wonderful save. We'll come back to that one in a second. What a save that was. Now is Cardinal Hume, goalkeeper slightly off his line, and the chip goes wide. And but there was an opportunity there. Well, let's have a look at. Um, let's have a look at the opportunity again. There was the ball, it was, it was number nine, Jack Hall, who played the ball forward. And uh, number 10 was through, and the goalkeeper somehow managed to make the save. Still nil nil, 10 minutes on the clock here at the regional arena. And ball given there, fair enough. Short ball played. Joe Arnott. Joe Arnott takes uh, just a few too many on. Lovely atmosphere. More people piling in as well to watch this. It really is a cracking atmosphere here in this uh, under 16 schools cup for boys. We uh, that throw's gone into no man's land. Mags again looking uh, certainly looking a threatening player up front. Now he's caught in a Hume on the counter attack. On it. Tries to play the ball through, looking for the return. Referee sees a little shoulder shrug. And a little uh, little push aside and uh, he gives the, the free kick. Kobe with the kick, goal, uh, free kick for Windsor. We have another final here at four o'clock as well. Just coming to you a little bit later on. That's in the Small Schools Cup. Lovely skills and, and unleashed a shot from outside the box, and that one had a bit of pace on it. it may have gone wide there, but I'm sure the uh, goalkeeper will have noted that uh, number eight. Andrew Byrne has a bit of a, a bit of a hot right foot on him. 
Madness looking at uh, these teams have played an incredible eight matches each to get through. Um, both coaches were saying beforehand that uh, how uh, what a, a great honour it is to be competing in this final and to be giving uh, representing so many teams that they've played to get through here. Of course, Windsor Boys School uh, down in the south, uh, not far from Maidenhead area to the west of London, and Cardinal Hugh based out of Gateshead. Real hotbed of football up there. Very good teams. In fact, looking at the results that uh, Cardinal Hume had to get through here, in their first round uh, is actually a second round match. They had a bind the first. They had a 1 0 victory over John Spence High School from North Tyneside. Away match. And uh, I'll just stop for a second as I was put out of play. And the, the coach was saying that uh, when I spoke to him, Paul Keenan was saying that uh, how that match in itself could have gone either way it was a superb winning goal from time which uh, sealed the win but it really could have gone either way and he certainly uh, would not have predicted at that time that they would have ever there's a attempt to shot from distance that they would have reached the final it's starting to uh, settle down a little bit here so looking at the past results to get here, Winter Boys School, they beat Brackenhale School from East Berkshire 5-0 in the, in the second round. It was a 1-0 away victory over Isha Church of England School from Kingston. In round four, it was a 6-1 victory over Fulham College Boys School. In round five, it was a 7-3 victory over Cox Green School from East Berkshire. In round six, it was a 2-0 victory of a Carshalton Boys Sports College from the Sutton area. In round seven, offside's given there. In round seven, it was a 3-0 victory of a Cherwell School from the Oxford area. In round eight, it was a 2-1 home victory of a Houndsden School from Southampton. And in round nine, well, it was a 0-0 match against Shoreham Academy, a 4-3 win on penalties in that semi-final. Round nine rounds of matches. Sun just uh, blasting out here now. Lovely day to play football on. That's a Cardinal Hume. Well, they had that 1-0 away, away victory over John Spence High School, which I just mentioned earlier. That was a long time ago, back in September that match was. In the third round, a 3-1 home victory of a Macmillan Academy from Middlesbrough. Chit chat here. Free kick, just a little bit short.
nice play with uh, Douglas coming forward, but Douglas is, was tackled there by Ta Talha. And Windsor just seeming to have a little bit more possession in midfield at the moment. If Carlton and Hume looking a little bit heavy legged here for a second there. And now, while well, Douglas just clears into space, I'm not sure his coach is going to be too pleased with uh, just a long ball into, into nowhere. But here comes Tot Howard and a chance for Cardinal Hume. And uh, well, it's just not going right at the moment, is it, for Cardinal Hume? Even that simple pass is misplaced. At the moment, Windsor just starting to get a bit of a stranglehold on this match against the wind as well. Burn. To play a little lofted ball up there. Long ball from Windsor. Here's Burn, here's Burn again, been uh, very busy in the uh, midfield. Uh, challenge from behind, and free kick given to Cardinal Hume. Well, we've been having a great time covering all the SFA finals, and uh, of course England internationals as well. Try a shot from distance, but that's gone. That's no good. Starting to uh, get under pressure and trying to release Burn, who's got energy to burn out here. He's really busting the gut to get into that corner. And uh, he even goes and fetches the ball for them as well. Good lad. Two, uh, two halves of 40 minutes at the under 16 level. I always have to ask somebody, I can never remember. Winter, uh, the Cardinal Hume supporters are really uh, lucky to try and cheer on their guys at every, any opportunity. Douglas will tackle there. Here's Lewis Max with the throw. He's getting uh, himself all around the pitch as well, to be honest. One minute is up front, next minute is uh, back more on uh, more defensive duties. Cleared there by Scott Sparks. Sparks and Loughran haven't had a, a load to do so far. It's mainly been more play on the right-hand side. Joanna, back to Douglas, nice ball in, gives a better football here from Cardinal Hume, there's the gap out to Howard on the left hand side, and that's better play from Cardinal Hume, and there's a certainly a bit of hearty applause around me here, I'm sat in the middle of the, the crowd it feels like, and uh, there's definitely a, a little bit of confidence there. Nice bit of, bit, bit of interplay there from the Cardinal Hume team. That 
one swung in very high. Almost went out of play. There's a shot. Oh, it's a goal. Cardinal Hubert scored. And the crowd around are going crazy. Well, let's have a look at that one again. The corner came in. It was into a no man's land and hit on the volley. And the keeper couldn't do anything about it. Well, that was probably the first major move that Cardinal Human put together. And uh, certainly the crowds are having a little bit of a, a little bit of banter between each other. But I don't think uh, if you're a Cardinal Hume fan, maybe don't be. Oh, off the crossbar! And the flag is up. Well, I was just about to say, maybe don't be singing too much yet because at the moment Windsor seem to have had majority of the play and then their response was to hit the bar look at this again this is the goal on the on the volley and the bounce beat the goalkeeper there Long throw. The wind just catching it in the air though, taking a fair bit of distance out of that throw. Here's Sachdev. The challenge from behind. Referee says play on, plays advantage. Max, Lewis Max. Max, he can release one. That's another goal! It's hit the crossbar the second time. Incredible. Talha wins the throw, throws it quickly, Max lays it off, referee slightly gets in the way here. Well, two crossbars, and here they are. Here's the first one, tackled, uh, Douglas got a foot in it, but played back. And there was Max with the shot, straight off the crossbar. One, and then here's number two, two crossbars. It looks like we're getting a substitution early on as well. Alex Sakalaukas is coming off, and Alfie Myrna comes on. That was the second crossbar. Two crossbar hits in the space of just over a minute there. play from Windsor looking for the counter-attack. Birchmore wants it on the right. Satchdev fakes left and plays it out to Birchmore, the captain. That's a good ball in for Birchmore. It's a difficult one to deal with. And Joshua Smith does really well there. That one had a bit of loop and swerve and a bit of wind behind it. And uh, well, this pitch is uh, its not a 4G surface, so there is always a bit of a gamble as to what the ball's going to do coming off that surface. Six minutes gone. Free header at the far post. And well saved.
Winds are really starting to put the pressure on now. Swing, cross the swing in. Oh, it must be a goal, and it is. An equaliser. And I think that's Lewis Max who scored. And a deserved equaliser here. We'll do this again. They've really. The alarm bells have been ringing. It was misjudged, and the, the actual ball, it, a very strange uh, way to finish, to be honest. He was completely unmarked. It went over the top of a few heads, and Max just literally had to slot it into an empty, well, almost an empty net. There was people in the way, but he made sure, put it into the top corner. Oh, brilliant last ditch foot in there. Could well have uh, saved the day. Here's a, another look at the goal. That was Andrew Byrne with the shot. Again, uh, I've got a spotter behind me, an assistant helping me out. Here's just a look at the goal again. Well, he, he did pretty well there, didn't he? He placed it right into the top corner. Back to live action. Corner's been taken short. Burns with the winner again. Certainly, uh, Andrew Byrne is, is definitely uh, one of the standout players for Cardinal Hume here. He's put in a lot of, uh, he's put in a bit of a shift already, this lad. Premier League under 16 school cup for boys. It's one all. The Winchester causing a little bit of havoc with the central defence, the, the defensive pair of to Toby Loughran and Scott Sparks. That's a dangerous swing ball in. Here's Duffy, and just didn't fall. Well for Duffy at all there. Well, there was a there's a slight opportunity there for Duffy, wasn't there? If a uh, good bit of control could have swung it onto his right foot. Really entertaining final here. Don't be put off by seeing empty seats behind. Basically, the whole ground is full on this side of the uh, arena. I think Windsor may have taken it slightly in terms of crowd support. Got a, I believe there were seven coaches coming up early. Shot from distance. But I don't think uh, this team looks to be very comfortable outside the box. If they get half an opportunity, there's no doubt that they're going for it. <laughs> Which 
Bradley again has seemed to be dominating in midfield. Bradley Birchmore coming forward with the ball again quickly there. It's pretty much uh, Lewis Manx, Bradley Birchmore and Scott Sparks who pushing up a lot from the back. Sparks is going up for this one. Well, the last, uh, the last corner we saw was absolute chaos. The wind certainly affecting the ball a little bit and Max just had an empty empty goal, so what will happen this time? Swung into danger again, this time Kyle Carney clears it out with the fists. Good play from Arnett. Arnett nearly manages to ball through. Well, Sakalakas is still on the pitch, so I'm not sure. They, uh, when they put the numbers up for 14 coming on and seven coming, going off and 14 coming on. Just check. Shot into the side net there. Um, just to try and clear up what happened, it looks like um, that substitution was possibly just made for uh, maybe a change of boots or something, because Sakalakas is back on. That happened uh, a little bit outside my knowledge there. And uh, number 14 is definitely not, not on the pitch. That's a dangerous swung cross on the keeper. That'll, that's good enough, he'll be happy with that. Oh, wonderful skills from Howard and the free kick is drawn that's beautiful play here's, here's on it now oh I love showing some skills and still going cleared away No doubt it's a meal. Here's a good tackle from Douglas. Douglas loses out weight of numbers. And now Windsor on the counter attack, but too many men back there. Ball's given away. James Thompson tries to play to the far corner, and that's uh, offside. I just appreciate a, a few skills here from Jake Howard. This is nicely done. There he goes. Taxi for Talha. Then inside another one, inside number seven, Sakalakas, and in the end it was Ryan Sachdev. Kick okay, about four minutes to go in this first half. It's absolutely flown by Sakalakas, Talha. Birchmore. Tallow again. Tallow goes for the one two. Just one man in the box though. We manages to find him. But doesn't get a foot on it and Thompson clears. Only as far as Luke Hayes for Windsor. Luke Hayes hasn't done a lot of attacking, but here he comes on a bit of a run. And in the end runs out of space. Now Cardinal Hume, Joe Arnett, who's that's a lovely ball over the top. He's onside! Noticed the goalkeeper off his line and tried to play the chip shot.
cleared by Thompson. It's not such a good clearance from Talha, just gives the ball straight to Jake Howard. Now he is on it. And Andrew Byrne, who's uh, really been uh, burning it hard into central midfield there, he's really put in a lot of workload. Pressure on Luke Hayes and left back, but he's got support from his centre half. Just a little time to have a breather almost. Another corner. Not long to go. His first half. Man down at the moment. I think that's. Uh, that, uh, can't see a number on him. Number eight, Andrew Byrne. That would be a blow if he had to come off. He may have actually just pulled a. Side of the leg. A few of the uh, Cardinal Hugh players, nobody in the box at the moment. A few of the Cardinal Hugh players have all gone back to just top up with a little bit of water. Corner kick. Swung in. Both goals have come from corner kicks in this match. Loenko, uh, that's, uh, that's actually uh, Arnott up there, number 10, sorry. Arnott's definitely a bit of a player. Back to Thompson. Thompson might look to hit a shot from distance, but it's uh, just scuffed it a little bit there. Tries to play the ball through the centre. <laughs> Referee uh, just advising the goalkeeper. He was happy that uh, the goalkeeper to pick that one up. Nice turn inside from Louis Mags. And that's a cracking ball over the top for Birchmore. Birchmore's got a bit of pace there. He's certainly threatening. Birchmore will take the throw. Time is up on the clock. We are on injury. I haven't seen a board go up. Here's a flick on there from Sakalakas. Joe Arnett, the number 10 for Cardinal Hume, just gets a little bit tied up. We haven't had an announcement as to how much uh, additional time is going to be played here. And that will be it. So, half time. And what a fully entertaining first half that was. And here's a chance to have a little look through the highlights of that first half. As both teams uh, exit the pitch, it's Windsor Boys School 1, Cardinal Hume Catholic School 1. Let's have a little look at the goals. This is uh, the first goal. In off the corner, lovely volley into the corner of the goal. Beautifully played. And that was number five, Thomas Howard. 
who scored. There you see the corner kick. It was high, hanging in the air, and Thompson came in with the volley, and the goalkeeper just couldn't do anything about it, could he? That was the first goal from Thompson. And then, the, and then we saw Windsor with some real pressure. Here's a couple of occasions where this was uh, played back and Max hit it off the crossbar. There's three moments in about two minutes where Windsor really put the pressure on. That was number one. Here was the second one. This was just about a minute later and it was Max again. He's very confident shooting from distance off the top of the crossbar. And uh, luckily for Cardinal Hume, that one just died away. And then uh, here was the third th really threatening opportunity again, as I say, just in the sake, um, space of a couple of minutes. And it was Max for the third time. Can you believe Lewis Max three times in a row nearly had a nearly had a goal? And it didn't take much longer because about five minutes after that header and save. And this was probably the, hot, the easiest of them all. Complete misjudgment at the back. Joshua Smith misheaded it. James Thompson, the goal scorer. Um, James Thompson, the centre half, missed it. And it was Mags who put it in. And we'll see this from uh, the closer camera. This is a better view of it here. Completely missed by James Thompson. And Mags, well, that's one hell of a finish right into the top corner. So we're going to take a very quick break. There's a million and one kids running all around me. Um, oh, they've all gone off to go and buy some crisps and Diet Coke or whatever else. Uh, and we're just going to take a little break ourselves. We'll be back for the second half very shortly. Very entertaining match.
Well, welcome back to uh, a cold, a cold Manchester Regional Academy. Although we are in the shade here, it's probably very nice out there. Hello to Sydney, Australia. I don't know what time it is over there. I suppose I could use Google to find out. But um, hello over there in Sydney. Somebody's sister supporting Windsor is uh, is on the phone. And also, apologies, Louis Max, not Lewis. I know it is. Guess what? It's oh, it's ten to ten over in Sydney, so yeah, that's okay. You're not stopping up too late, unless you've got school tomorrow, or work perhaps, but uh, it looks very nice out there. It's very nice on the pitch. I'm sure the players are, have really enjoyed the conditions out there. Um, but yes, uh, do apologies, Mr. Louis Max, um, but I did just give you a personal show at half time with all your chances. That was uh, pretty, pretty fantastic uh, play from you in the first half. Certainly one of the candidates for the man of the match a little bit later on. Here come the Cardinal Hume team. There's a fair bit of support for both teams here. Lovely to see. And an absolute pleasure to be bringing this match to you. Okay, so we're getting ready to go here for the second half. The officials are just joining us. David Coote is the referee, Magda Goldberg and Philip Woodward are our assistant referees or linesmen in Old Money. And Paul Wilcox is the fourth official. Checks, everybody's ready, and here we are with the second half of this Premier League sponsored under 16 Schools Cup for boys. Windsor Boys School in the green, and Cardinal Hume School, Cardinal Hume Catholic School, excuse me, in the purple colours. Still a bit of a wind right to left, but it's nothing too strong really. It doesn't seem to be affecting any of the teams. Here's Jack Hall, number nine. Hunting that down with uh, Sakalakas. that Windsor do uh, that sort of attack down the right hand side typically so we see we may see a little bit more play up on that top top wing they definitely uh, had most of the, the first half you could say we don't do uh, stats analysis or anything like that on the matches but if we did possibly uh, we're looking at a sort of 60 percent 65 percent possession there for, for Windsor in that first half Inside the referee just uh, giving an obstruction. Played early. Here's Arnott. Jack Douglas. 
Lofts it high into the air, flicked on by Byrne. And Byrne does well there, here's Lorenko. Nice turn inside from Lorenko, back to Byrne. Tackled by Hayes. Well tackled indeed, Birchmore, the captain, looks to give his Jack Hall a bit of a ball to run onto. And the keeper, Kale Carney, does very well there. That was uh, that was one that he may have been tempted to stay at home, but in the end, made a late call to come out. Just, uh, looks like we uh, looks like we may have got a substitution or something. Oh, there's, a, there's an advertising board that has blown over and it's actually blown onto the pitch so we have to just stop here just on the right hand side Throw from Birchmore. Is it? Is it Sakalakis? Oh, what a save from the goalkeeper! <laughs> Carney did superbly there. A Sakalauskas really looked as if he was he was in for that one. It was a pretty much point blank save from the goalkeeper. Corner to Windsor, continuing the pressure, cleared by Smith, Joshua Smith, James Thompson, Windsor ball, that's a great ball in, and there was a, a header from the number eight, Adam Forder. You see the cross was in and Forder here just at full stretch. So, putting on the pressure, the wind just getting up a little bit more from right to left. That's not a bad goal kick considering that the wind that's out there. And here's Birchmore again looking to cause havoc. That ball and the Carney does well with the, the bounce of the ball there. Took a bit, had to take a bit of a gamble under some real pressure. Referee is blown against Louis Max. It's quite funny to look at the numbers. Over 4,000 people have already watched uh, watching this match live or have watched. I just imagine that. All those seats being full of people back home is a shot from distance, but off the outside of the foot from James Thompson and wide. Jacoby, comfortable, he hits a, a very long ball. Hayes, has to place that for Sakalakis to get on to, but Carney too quick off his line. Plays in Jake, Jack Douglas. Joanna looking to get on the end of this. That's cleared by Loughran. Uh, so by Fox there. Nice turn here from Arnott. And that will be a corner. Good play. And a good tackle from Scott Sparks. 
we have another match for you at four o'clock here from the regional arena. Schools Cup, Gordon School versus Church Stretton School. Trying to play in burn there, but Max clears that one. Max is absolutely all over the pitch. He's uh, it's one of these players, he seems to be involved in just about every attack. And there he was, clearing away. A little bit of, little bit of pressure on one of the players there who uh, failed to control the ball. And, Crowd sort of saw the funny side of that. Feel for a foul throw, not given. Here's Arnon. Tala. Tala comes away with it. He's off to the races. Plays in Jack Hall. Hall's got Birchmore on the left hand side. Plays it back to Tala. Then Howard with a tackle. Wonderful tackle there from uh, Cardinal Hume, number 11. Jake Howard. Zico Talon. Rick Burt the throw, not a bad name for a footballer, Zico. And, well, Max, who's one minute he was just playing in front of the left back, and there he is. He's now up on the far corner. Swinging a crossing with his right foot, so he's he's all, absolutely all over the place on this pitch. Trolls looks up. He's got he's got Hall in the middle. Got cleared away and Lorenko. Luke Hayes putting that one out of play. by Hayes. Hall tries to play that one on and Adam Forder there marauding up front again. Sachdev plays it forward to Forder. Forder back to Hall. Max trying to play a very difficult ball to be honest from that uh, angle with the wind behind. Birchmore. Birchmore only got one man to beat and tries the shot and well well tackled there, well blocked by the number, um, I think it was Ryan Fisher there, Cardinal Hume. Play still on, lovely skills from Byrne, Byrne is off and that took Toby Lockford there that one out of play, good skills from Byrne. Referee just telling uh, Lorenko, uh, uh, who's still who's laboring a little bit at right back, I think he just took a bit of a, a knock there, but he played advantage. Josh Smith, Joshua Smith with the throw. Cardinal Humor four in and around the box. A couple just joining. So that's a long throw, causing a bit of trouble here. Here's Arnett. And Arnett 
hasn't really got the time in that position on the pitch to hold on to it too long. It's one of those. This is good skills from Birchmore. Now Birchmore's away. He's off to the races. He's got one, one man on him. The ball has just been flicked wide. What a tackle that was to save the day. Great skills from Birchmore yet again. Look at this one again. Ball goes over the top. Birchmore gets a little head on it, catches Thomas Howard, the captain, and it's then one touch here. This is a brilliant touch. Beautifully done by number three, Jack Douglas, who came into support. Oh, and Birchmore, in fact, that was uh, Forder, I think. Yes, it was Forder. What an opportunity that was. Flicked off the goalkeeper. Looked as if it was going in. Great save from Kale Carney. He's been an absolutely outstanding himself. Here's the corner into danger again. And over the bar. Well, Kale Carney himself has been uh, absolutely superb. Ford is trying to. Just trying to G up his teammates here. They really have been truly on top in this match. Substitutions taking place, and we've got 14 and 7 happening again. So we had this earlier. Alfie Myrna comes on, and Alex Sakalaskas goes off. Duffy. Lorenko's wanted the ball on the right hand side and he'll probably get it here now. One man to beat. And Luke Hayes concedes the corner. Wasn't too happy about that by the looks of it. Corner for Cardinal Hugh. It's a dangerous one towards Byrne, but he had two men on him. And now Windsor looked to come away quickly. There's only one real man up from Blake. There's Blakemore, uh, Birchmore here, sorry. And Hall. Maybe Windsor would have been better just trying to hold, hold on a little bit of possession for 10 seconds or so. out of play from Myrna, a substitute. Windsor Boys School are unbeaten in all competitions this season. Here's a chance to haul from long distance. He has a little go. It's ahead. And he'll be happy with the corner. Just looking through the bug, his Windsor have uh, actually not lost a match this year 11 team. They're on for the quadruple, the league, the district cup, the county cup, and of course this national cup. They had a big their highlight, was a big 7-3 victory over Cox Green, their local rivals. Just watch this corner come in for a second. It's almost a win there from Scott Sparks, tall number six. Howard clears. There's only one man up front for Cardinal Hugh. Loughran. And that will be a free kick. Brad Birchmore scored a hat trick in that uh, in that 7-3 win. Also, their big win was the National Cup semi-final at Shaw Academy, winning 4-3 on the penalty shootout. There's a Birchmore. And that one just going out. Most famous player coming through the school, Sam Hutchinson from Sheffield Wednesday. Well, he must be a very good player to play for Wednesday. The Marty Owls, Jack Stacey from Exeter. Yeah, but looking at Cardinal Hume, he scored 34 goals across the 35 goals across the eight matches. They do have a very solid goalkeeper in defence, as we've seen here today. They're very uh, put under a lot of pressure 
they managed to withstand it. Birchmore down to Talha. Talha looking to play in Hall. Hall's had two players on him there. And that one is cleared. Cardinal Hume putting in a lot of work here in defence. Keeping the Windsor boys in green at bay. Cardinal Hume do have a very strong football setup. And, uh, many of their other years have been pretty successful this year as well. So this is uh, very fitting that the year 11s have reached this final of an event with about a thousand uh, entries in it. Quite incredible. See so many teams represented just uh, on one pitch here. 20 minutes to go, a long throw, flicked on by Birchmore. Cardinal Hume clear. It's nicely played back in actually under, not an easy ball to play. Out to the wing. It's in the box. Oh, man, oh, what a save! What a save! That was absolutely superb from Myrna. Have a look at that one again. Here's Cardinal Hume on the counter. And here's Lavenko. Tries to play in it, his man, but shot. And well, they're appealing for Byrne to shoot there. Well, we've got to look at this save again. What a save this is. Just see one again on the screen. The cross on the right hand side. Substitute Alfie Myrna comes in with the header. What a save that is from the keeper. Always difficult when you're having to save it. Go across. The Cardinal Hume continued to stay in the match. on, put out of play by Sachdev. Hayes comes away with the ball. Get to play in Myrna, but the ball wasn't very good put his own player into trouble. Here's Tom, Thomas Howard, the goal scorer, and captain Cardinal Hume. Such death miss kicks, gives the ball back. And now is the break. And here's Louis Mags again. Mags looking for options as uh, Alfie Murner again coming in on the blind side on the back post. And that will be a corner. Well, I'm not, I usually keep counts of corners. I haven't been doing so on this occasion, but Windsor have certainly, uh, they must have had around 10 or so corners at least in this match. With, uh, here comes the corner. Ball is loose on the edge, but Carney, who we've seen before, is a very accomplished goalkeeper, handles that one comfortably. Challenge on uh, Andrew Byrne there from behind. Cardinal Hume. Get a, court, uh, get a free kick. Birchmore looking to play in Hall down the line. Well, that ball looks as if it's a little bit too long.
comes Max, looking to unleash the trigger again. We've not seen so much of him in a, in a forward position in this second half as we saw in the first. Here comes Luke Hayes. With a messy play there by Birchmore. Nicely tackled. Arnott. Arnott plays in Duffy. Duffy's got a one of the keepers come out to collect though, and Giacobbe does well. Myrna switches the angle well, finds a good gap in midfield, and Myrna looking for the return ball now. Here's Duffy, got two to beat. And Lorenko was was handled that one easily. But again, the ball is just given away by Cardinal Hume. Got to stop giving the easy ball to the opposition. They need to use it whenever they can, effectively. There's a one-on-one -on -one up front here. This is an opportunity, it's a, and a foot into the face. And... Uh, Kobe. Flicked on by Forder who stayed down and is in real pain here. Oh, uh, okay, not too bad. Just cramp. That's a lovely picture, that is, isn't it? <laughs> said football wasn't sporting at times. Let's say we're probably going to have a little bit more injury time uh, in the second half as we are going to have a bit of cramp. These, uh, these Windsor boys have been running all over the place. Yes, uh, Adam Ford is just going to Take a little bit easier, those legs are still hurting pretty hard. It is a hard pain, that is. In fact, there's a substitution. So there you go, that's his last moment of the match, but well, for now anyway. George Cliff is coming on. Some fresh legs. And Adam Forder can uh, get a bit of treatment for his cramp. on the sideline. So on comes George Cliff. And here we go again, 14 minutes left on the clock. If we do go to extra time, it'll be two halves of 10, and then penalties. Max, here's Birchall, Birchmore. who really have been running things so well. Mert Max again tries to take on two players. There's no space there for him. Sachdev, skills from Sachdev, gets around the outside. Keeps it, keeps the ball in well. Be happy for yet another wins a corner. Jack Hall, centre forward take this one and swing this one in the wind is certainly getting up a little bit a little bit more from right to left as you can see on that flag there Scott Sparks looking to get on the end of this and a shot from distance goal kick 
passing on cue. in my opinion, given a free kick for that challenge. I think Hayes probably ran more into his man than uh, that being a foul, but he's the referee and I'm just a commentator sat in the stand. Windsor have four men in the box here. They've actually got four men back, which seems a little bit overkill considering there's only one player up for Cardinal Hugh. Go. This is swung in. This could be a free header. The keeper was a little bit in no man's land, but there was no green head on that ball. And in the end, straight into the hands of Kale Carney. Man just down at the moment. Louis Max, maybe having similar cramp issues. Too good for, for Max there. I don't think that's not a cramp, that's a right. He's back up, he's gonna carry on. That's an important player for Windsor. Definitely has some uh, Previous issue. Looks like we've got a few substitutions. Number eight has gone off there. Oh no, no, it isn't. It's just Cardinal Hume bench have all crowded around and they're getting drinks. But number eight does look to be uh, Andrew Byrne. Looks to be sitting down and getting a bit of treatment. So looks like he's uh, we're going to have a substitution for him by the looks of it. He's put in a, a hell of a lot of work for the Cardinal Hume team. Nobody on, on yet, so Max is back on. At the moment, Cardinal Hume have just got 10 players on the pitch. We're trying to see if we can get Burn patched up a little before making a decision. We, we do have rolling subs anyway, so they could easily just put somebody else on just for a short while. The three Cena, the free kick in that little melee, and we will have the substitution with Adam Wilkinson coming on for Andrew Byrne, who's already on the sideline and looking a little bit worse to wear there. He's already got the boots and the sock off and looks like there might be a, an ankle injury down there. That ball had a little bit too much on it. Keeper again, Carney. Didn't think it very well. Final ten minutes. And a match that Windsor really have been dominant from start to end. I'm getting pressure from my side here as to who I should be choosing for my man of the match. It is something that I'm uh, having a little think about at the moment. No pressure whatsoever. Callum Duffy will take the corner here. I think you have got the, the three possibles. Windsor looking at that corner's a dangerous one, and 
that's a wonderful defensive header. Because that one could have easily curled in towards the far corner of the pitch as well. Watch this again. Here's the corner. The wind gets it. And it's the... We've got another substitution taking place here as well. It's uh, number... Number four is off. And number eight is back on. So James Thompson comes off. And Andrew Byrne... Well, he has been patched up pretty quickly. Because he's straight back on. Benefits of uh, rolling subs. I don't know why they don't do this sort of stuff more. Corner kick. And Carney, very accomplished goalkeeper in the Cardinal Hume goal. just played needlessly out of play there to, uh, to no man's land down the line Myrna looking to chase this one down Josh Smith having it covered Nice skills from Louis Max. Just looked at, just stumbled his. And that will be a handball from uh, Alfie Myrna. Yeah, Max is, uh, Louis Max is looking a little bit uh, flat footed out there. I think uh, he's definitely carrying a knock, but he doesn't want to come off. Long kick from the back. Flicked on twice from Cardinal Hume, and that's a real good presence from Toby Loughran there. Getting the, nodding the ball straight back to Giacobi. Wilkinson, substitute for Cardinal Hume. Plays it high. They've not really had much of a chance to play it on the ground, and this one's a little bit awkward. Keeper decides to come and uh, claim that one. Well done. Giacobi, Talha, looking to claim Birchmore. Birchmore for once didn't claim that ball. And now here's Lorenko on the right wing looking for a little bit of space. Chance to show a little bit of pace here from Lorenko. But runs into uh, no man's land area. has robbed of possession and then uh, well, it's got a bit of a nibble there first yellow and it's wide that's a great save from Matteo Giacobi in the goal you see the, the flick on at the back post and it was the number nine is Callum Duffy and the keeper whoa and again you saw the hand go up he actually made a double save there, and you can see that he was pretty excited about it himself. That's That hand up right at the end may have even been off his own player. We'll, we'll try and have another look at that in a second. Letourneau, his kick's not very good at all. Way wide and no real pressure. And I think a few people imploring that that corner needs to be better. Birchmore. Myrna. Myrna wanting the, uh, wanting the free kick. The referee is saying, no, let's have another look at this uh, replay again of this uh, double save. First of all, a save from number nine, Callum Duffy, or number 12, actually, but it's the second one here. That was a superb save. He was actually off. He's her own player. 
So it was uh, number 12, Adam Wilkinson, who nearly scored first time for Cardinal Hume, and then it was his own defender that uh, Giacobbe actually pulled off an incredible save. Birchmore. Birchmore just using his body to shield the ball a little bit. Well, two minutes to go. Birchmore has a little bit of cramp. breaks out that's a good hanging ball opportunity from Jack Hall but he scuffs the shot well I'm gonna bottle it on the man of the match for now because we're gonna wait to see uh, it could be a quite a lot more football played in this with two uh, periods of extra time looking quite likely here as we one minute to go, Birchmore, who's always been threatening. Hayes, the only member of Yellow Card is... That's it. The referee does give, give the free kick, and I think Birchmore just having a little discussion with him, saying, look, you don't need to... He really didn't need to go in for that challenge, did he? I think uh, there's a bit of a red mist surrounding Mr. B uh, Mr. Hayes at the moment. Because uh, if that tackle had come off badly, that could have been a red card. Substitute over in the far corner. Number 16. And in fact, very good decision here from the manager. So Luke Hayes is actually being substituted. And I think that's a really good call here. He's obviously a little bit... Uh, Hot and bothered at the moment. He needs to cool down for a little bit. And number 16, Callum Pitcher, will come on. That's excellent management there from uh, the Winter Boys coach. Free and James Clark. What well, could be one of the last attacks of uh, normal play here. Max played a loose ball out looking for Sakdev. Shot from distance from Byrne. Well, miss hit, and here's Birchmore. Birchmore's got a bit of space to run in. It's uh, three against four here for Windsor. Plays out Hall. Here's Hall. And out for a corner, and the crowd, big round of applause here for their defence. They were quite worried about a last minute goal. We're not sure how much extra time is due to be played uh, in, at a time. Dangerous ball in, off the crossbar, ball is free. Somehow there is no goal. Oh, unbelievable. How did that not go in? Look at the replay. I was sure this was a goal. Goalkeeper, goalkeeper misjudges it, comes off the underside of the bar. It hits the defender on the line and somehow the ball goes clear. Another swinging ball in. Cardinal Hume will clear. Well, how many cat? Yeah, how many cat lives have uh, Cardinal Hume have gone? Because that is full time, and we're now going to go into additional time here. Just look at uh, well, both teams have absolutely pummeled each other, and Windsor have really had been the dominant team in here. Well, Cardinal Hume just trying to keep their legs warm. Windsor, I think
think they're looking around at each other, wondering what they have to do to win this match. While they're doing that and having a discussion, because it doesn't really make great viewing, let's have a look, sort of review of the match so far. This was the, the first goal from uh, Thomas Howard, the captain for Cardinal Hume. About halfway through the first half, and there's the celebration. Here was the ball in, hanging ball. Max won the ball in the header, but it was hit by Howard, and the bounce just beaten the keeper, Giacobbe. And that was, uh, that was one nil to Cardinal Hume from their captain. But then we had a, a little master, master clash from L Mr. Louis Mags, who uh, hit his, his number one in off the crossbar. Absolutely wonderful play. And here's the second one. Again, Mags not afraid to look up and hit the right foot shot. And again, a looper off the inside of the right foot, off the top of the crossbar. And then here's the third opportunity. Three in a row here, and again, it was Max again, this time with the header that forced the keeper into an absolutely wonderful save. And then here came the equalising goal. Uh, not considering how brilliant Cardinal Hume had been defending, that was probably their worst uh, worst bit of defensive uh, play. As they uh, totally missed missing the ball and Mags from a a, a really a. Well, I was going to say it was unmissable, but it wasn't. Yet. And in the end, he put it directly into the top corner. Here's a few chances from the second half that we noted down. And all pretty much wins the chances. There's the first one, just hitting the head and going uh, just over the bar. And then here's his, uh, the one for Birchmore, Bradley Birchmore, who just got in ahead of Howard, went to the races, and we a wonderful tackle here from Jack Douglas. That was absolutely superb. Just got a foot in there, just to put, make that one clear. Here's another, another opportunity for Windsor. Again, another swung in from the right. They do play a lot of the ball. It was Myrtle. What a save this was from Kale Carney, keeping his team in it. We'll just see this again from a wider angle. Same, same save. But Myrna, who was clear at the back post, And then uh, another great chance, just defensively knocking it over the bar. So here we go. Extra time, two periods of 10 minutes. And what, what drama is going to unfold in this match now? Really has been wonderful to watch. Flicked on. Winds are now kicking from left to right. who looks to be a little bit quieter in this uh, in the latter stage and looks to be certainly carrying a knock here it's a lovely ball through keeper comes to clear Giacobbe does well Sakdev Mags Myrna Mags with the ball it's just not working for Louis Mags, who was absolutely red hot in the first half. Bit of, bit of time and space for Cardinal Hume here.
Birchmore. Plays it back to Jacoby, who doesn't put a uh, foot on it and hits it first time. A bit of a risk when you're on a grass pitch. Joshua Smith. Birchmore. Birchmore back is Max. Talha. And uh, Alfie Myrna not too pleased about some of the attention he was getting from behind there. That will be a free kick. Zico Tal, Tal Hat on Adam Wilkinson. Taken short, nice skills from Joe Arnott. Just had one more to beat there, and they would have been in a very dangerous position. <laughs> Mr. Myrna is uh, a little bit embarrassed there, but just stumbled on the pitch. He's been in the wars, hasn't he? Had a boot to the face a little bit earlier. It's a good throw, just flicked on. And now, chance here's Myrna again, coming away with the ball. Nice skills from Myrna, in plays in Mags. That's a lovely ball, what a ball that is from Louis Mags. Appeal for offside but not given, Jack Hall. Sack Dev. Looking for options, doesn't seem to have a lot. The referee decides to allow the free kick because he realised that the uh, running Sack Dev didn't really have many options on for him at that time, so the referee gives him a get out of jail free card there. Well, that was a uh, <laughs> Long distance effort, which, uh, fair to say, never looked like uh, getting close. But it's worth a try, isn't it? This stage of a match, they uh, almost a sign of, you almost feel it's a bit of a sign of desperation from Windsor that they have thrown everything in the kitchen sink at Cardinal Hume in this match and they kept them at bay. Callum Duffy tries a similar long distance shot. of 10 minutes in extra time. You uh, just feel that maybe Windsor are almost settling for penalties here. They've, they've absolutely tried everything. And they've just come up against the brick wall of Cardinal Hume defence. Duffy plays it inside. This is a chance for Arnott. Arnott will have the shot and that's not far away at all. Well, this is interesting for sure. Cardinal Hume starting to step up the pressure a little bit, step up the pace. And that was a pretty good chance for them there. Some by Birchmore. Taken short. 
through Pitcher. Uh, that was uh, Pitcher there, number 16. Max back to Pitcher again. Sack Dev, managing just to get a foot in there. Important one, Birchmore. Plenty of space in midfield again for Windsor. That's a beautiful ball over the top. Here is Pitcher. And a chance for Cardinal Hume to come away with a ball. Played over the top, here's a one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, here's an opportunity. He's got a foot, and it's just wide. Oh. <laughs> that was so close. Here we go. There's the ball in over the top. And it was Callum Duffy. How close is this? That wasn't too far away in the end, was it? That wasn't far away whatsoever. It just touched the side netting as it went past the post. It was literally a fraction of an inch away. Substitution taking place, number three. Uh, Luke Hayes is back on. He's possibly calmed down a little bit. And Jack Hall, number nine, is coming off. It looks like uh, Hayes is going into a more forward position as well. Max with the flick on. Pitcher loses the ball out though to Ryan Fisher, who's been superb at the back for Cardinal Hume. How can you not give the Cardinal Hume a defence a mention when they've been under so much pressure? Here's Arna, one of the real strong players for Cardinal Hume on an attacking side. And Arna will swing this one in. It's a man on the back post here. Mc uh, that was Wilkinson. The ball just didn't fall for him. Talha. This game suddenly getting a little bit more open. Max. Some real cheers coming from the Cardinal Hume fans here around us. Andrew Byrne is putting it. What a ball that is from Andrew Byrne. Finds Jason Lorenko on the right hand side. Lorenko goes for a little run. Lorenko's crosses haven't been that good so far in this match. He's let himself down in that respect, but that was a, a lot better from Lorenko there. Douglas scuffs his. Oh, what a tackle there from uh, Thomas Howard. And Howard has a go from distance. And the referee blows the whistle. First period of extra time is over. Louis Max is uh, just getting a little bit of treatment there. Ten minutes to go. Ten more minutes to go in this final between Windsor Boys School and Cardinal Hume School from Gateshead. It's under 16 schools cup for boys. This is the big competition and under 16 boys level.
So here we go, we're 10 minutes away from penalties here. It, I think it's fair to say that, that Windsor School have just quietened down a little bit and I just wonder whether there's a, a feeling that they're, they're setting themselves for penalties. We will see. There's a long ball played quickly from the back. Excuse me, I'll take that graphic off. Oh, here's an opportunity. Number nine, Callum Duffy, but he was offside. I'm getting a bit excited with the crowd here. <laughs> Gotta calm down. There you go. Magda Magda Golba. Ten, just under ten minutes to go. Here's uh, Alfie Myrna on the wing. Trying to hopefully trying to win a corner off Jack Douglas. Got another final at four o'clock in the under 16 small schools cup. Gordon School versus Church Stretton School. That's coming up at four o'clock on the SFA YouTube channel. Birchmore will put in a long throw. And that comes to no good whatsoever. Cardinal Hugh really just playing with one man up front with uh, Callum Duffy. Right, relying on uh, a few of us to support. Adam Wilkinson playing up quite high as well. Out on the left wing. Lovely skills again from Joanna, who's always been a threat whenever he's had the ball. Luke Hayes manages to go past his man. Three on three here for Windsor. Hayes has taken out. And uh, the free kick is given. Number nine, Callum Duffy gets a little talking to with the referee. So will we see a shot from distance? Comes back. Has a little chat with Louis Hay, um, Louis Max. Louis Max looks as if he might be having a go. It's only three in the wall. Max has a shot. Well, Kale Carney, far too good a goalkeeper to be beaten from that sort of range. And now Cardinal Hume looking to counter. He had three up on that attack. Looking to counter attack very quickly there. One, that, that was one facet that the, the coach Paul Keenan was mentioning that they are very good on the counter and on some occasions they have to use that uh, aspect and it was very noticeable that there was there was three and a fourth was coming in very quickly as well on that attack from Cardinal Hugh. Sakdev hits his own man in the face there. And Birchmore. Birchmore goes down, Sakdev uh, apologises. And uh, yes, well done, well done uh, Bradley Birchmore, he's, uh, he's okay. He's just having taken the uh, initial hit of that. Well, at this stage now, we have about five minutes to go. Coaches will be wondering. Uh, They'll be putting their list together as to who they fancy taking corn, uh, taking corners, taking penalties. That ball's bounced pretty high. Here's Hayes, who's basically almost playing up front nowadays. Started off at left back. Go. Lorenko's one-two with on. It doesn't come off at all. And now, Cardinal Hume a little bit caught out. Hayes trying to run. Oh, well, that's quite a, quite a, a little. You could say that was a soft, soft foul there. He's, a, he's actually landed uh, 
has actually landed awkwardly. Yeah, it's just a cramp by the looks of it. in this one he may well have a pop himself he's got the stance of some but might well have a shot from this distance he's certainly got a powerful enough hit we've seen that before oh he's put that high up in the air and the wind will just take it and with that sort of wind behind yes Bradley Birchmore is just uh, trying to just G up the troops a little bit but it's looking like penalties isn't it four minutes to go mags Lorenko can't get the ball under control in the end happy with the throw Joshua Smith with the throw. Birchmore, lovely skills from Birchmore. And now, burn for Cardinal Hume. It's a lovely swinging crossing. Cardinal Hume, no call from the goalkeeper and cleared by Sparks. Birchmore and on at the two number tens go head to head. It's a lovely ball in, a dangerous ball. And George Cliff making a bit of a mess of that clearance there. And in the end, it goes out for the goal kick. to give a man and a match before the final chapter's written really and there is quite a lot to you know we could see a goalkeeper uh, pull off some incredible saves certainly a number of players that have stood out um, I've really absolutely loved Andrew Byrne Callum Duffy and Joe Arnott the forward line for Cardinal Hume they've not had a lot of supply I think it's fair to say but when they have had it they have been dangerous they have made life difficult for the winter defence Uh, I'm getting so excited and forgetting to flick cameras. I'm doing about five jobs here. Um, as for Windsor Green, well, Bradley Birchmore, absolutely superb. Um, I think Louis Manx, the number four, the goal scorer, has been wonderful as well. And also Giacobbe, the goalie, has been brilliant. But uh, I have got to say, I think my man of the match here is the goalkeeper for Cardinal Hume Catholic School, Kale Carney who has been absolutely wonderful. Lorenko plays a long ball down the line. Last minute and a half to go. Crowd really getting so into this, it's fantastic. What an atmosphere here. Referee and lines, linesmen agree on that decision. Well, there we go, Kale Carney. Getting the player of the match for Cardinal Hume. And I think uh, it's a, it is always a difficult winning situation like this. There's the ball through, but Giacone is out for that.
final seconds of his Premier League sponsored under 16 schools cut for boys the whistle has gone we are going to have penalties and now now what's going to happen <laughs> So this is where the coaches will be making their decisions. I'm going to take a very quick break. We'll be back shortly. So here we go, first penalty. Andrew Byrne will take the kick and comfortable. Now here comes Louis Max. Max scores. One all. Wonderful taken penalty from Lorenko. 2 1. Oh. 
and that's penalty for Cardinal Hugh saved Next up with Alfie Murner. Alfie Murner scores. It didn't look very confident going up to take it, but he's slotted it in. 3 2. Joshua Smith next for Cardinal. have the advantage, 3-2. Cardinal who really needs to score this penalty now. Oh, it's hit the crossbar! And Windsor needs to score just one more penalty. Cardinal Hume can only score three now. Windsor already have three. And it's down to Luke Hayes. A goal here wins the trophy for Windsor. That's trouble getting the ball the spot, he's going to hit it with his right foot, oh it's completely, crowd here, well the pressure, the pressure, so now Thomas Howard the captain, if he scores here, it will go down to the final penalty from Windsor. Howard puts it in. It's three all. And it now is down to the last. The Bradley Birchmore, the captain. And Birchmore scores. And Windsor Boys School have taken the title here. <laughs> it's all gone chaos. Where are the stewards? Look at this. This is unbelievable scenes. Windsor have taken the title. Birchmore has been, is in there somewhere. What a cool head. Oh, what a match, what a finish. And Windsor, Windsor Boys School, there's a, there's a fair bit of tears out there by the looks of it. There's some pretty emotional players and spectators. What a match. And what a finish. And well, Cardinal Hume School, they have been absolutely superb. And uh, well, the teams are going to go and shake hands. Wow. Five, four, three.
on penalties after a one all draw to extra time. What a game. What an exciting match that was. And uh, well, we're going to be doing it all again in a, in a short while, in about an hour and a half's time, with your Small Schools Cup. They are going to, uh, there will be a trophy presentation here. Well, I think Windsor certainly The uh, Cardinal Hume team come to applaud their fans. There's a few wet eyes amongst uh, that team as well. And also the Windsor boys thank their supporters. This was the moment that did it. Side footed into the corner. And uh, what's what the scenes that that is? Absolutely superb. Well, we will have a trophy presentation here at some stage once they, uh, everybody calms down a little bit. Quite hot and uh, Quite blustery out there, quite windy. I think the teams have been collected now to. Uh, that's a nice picture there.
On the other side of Stuart. Oh, no. Buy that board and let him present it to you and then whatever you want to do. Okay, Stu. Yeah, in a minute. Okay, done. Well done, lads. Well played.
Well, the teams depart, and uh, the corner of whom fans, there's a lot of them here, they've come down from Gateshead, they've given it their all, and they're getting a standing o ovation from their fans here. What a game, and what a fully enjoyable spectacle. Wins over. They get their final picture taken. We are going to reset for the next match, which will be uh, pretty soon. Thank you very much for watching this. There's been a lot of you watching. It's been uh, great bringing this game to you, and we'll be back for the next game in a short while. Thanks for watching. Goodbye for now.